saying you got to do these couple things to activate your light body now i haven't worked out in the last past week only because i allow my body to integrate the energy so if you've been feeling lazy that just means a lot is literally coming into you right now you're being downloaded i've been feeling like i need to train a lot so i'm about to go get in a good run in and bust out like a thousand push-ups so make sure you utilize your physical to activate any type of meridian in your body so activating means you oxygenate everything in your body so everything moves via nerves and you know all that kudalini's and you know all the circuit waves it's a bunch of stuff that we were not taught about our body we're more like DEA, deoxy three acid. So everything is like electricity. So if there's any blocks or stagnation in your body, your whole body will take effect. That's where disease is and like, you know, dementia, all these forms of like nerve damage, it's all because it's blockages in your body in different depths of blockages. That's why they use different names. That's why I recommend in order to activate it, you gotta let go of meat, okay? Meat, you have to let go. You gotta stick with like fruits and vegetables. Now you can cheat every once in a while, but you have to be fasting and doing enough intermittent fasting to flush out any like toxic and any stagnation. Stagnation can only flush out of you when you let your body rest. So meaning that it can't eat nothing and you gotta sit still, which is boring for people like myself who like literally thrives on moving. Like it's our endorphins. I'm more of a kinesthetic, so I'm more hands-on. So I study kinesiology. So there's different forms of like body based off the actualizing you know, in the month you were born. So you may be an auditory, so an audio person. You may be a vision person. You know, you like to draw and paint, or you may be, um, what's it called? Vision, auditory, visual, um, kinesthetic. So you're more hands-on. And then there's another one, audio, visual, or speaking. So you like to speak a lot. You may be more like, um, projectile so your throat chakra is really 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 active so you may be a singer or you may be like a you know a speaker or you may uh you know some way shape or form use your voice to occur you know profit you know money right because that's just the energies that you are accompanying with like me myself i'm more physical so i like to just do things physically you may have been things like a uh, chiropractic or like personal training pt or you may have done things like dancing it just depends on the energies that you retain, you are gonna be activating right now in this point. And how you activate those things is you got to move and you got to make sure your diet is good. I'm telling you, when I did like the all fruits and vegetables, I didn't eat nothing, my hair turned red. All of this was blood red, like I just shaved it off and I started eating stuff that I wasn't supposed to eat. Now, now is no longer acceptable to even eat like anything other than fruits and vegetables and you're supposed to be eating like 80 percent fruits because it contains h h3no2 it's a water soluble we're really supposed to be eating it to fruits because it hydrates our cells because cell hydration for our cells is how we get our optimate nutrition so we're really supposed to be eating things that has a lot of water in it we're supposed to be that's why we love watermelon that's why we love you know fruits and that are juicy and you know like coconuts and mangoes juicy filled with like water the reason we'll be doing that people only age because they're too much sodium and there's not enough water to hydrate their cells so they become decrepit and shriveled up like a raisin yeah because the moisture has been drained out of you so if you're not replenishing your water and your mineral micronutrients then you will pretty much take a shot you're going to experience a lot of stuff happen that's why if you notice a lot of color people they would um get dementia and nerve damage and cancer because they're eating cyst products if you eat a lot of meat there's literally cancer embedded in that it's cysts i'm telling you like that literally forms if you look under a microscope it, it's just cancer pathogens like <clears throat> looking for a source to attach itself to so it can feed on that's why cancer what grows because it's growing it's a live pathogen synthetic bacteria that utilizes the substance of your body and feeds on it until there's nothing left i know it's crazy and you know how that happens meat but not only meat though it'll literally uh it'll cause you to descend decalcify well no calcify decalcify is when you remove any calcification so it'll allow you to calcify which means you close off even more Literally, it'll make you more angry. If you know people eat a lot of meat, they get real timid, they're angry, they're always looking to lash out, they're always looking to play the uh, blame game, they're always, you know, trying to uh, let their rage out on you when they don't have any catalyst to like attach onto, they're looking for any outlet. 
You notice that, right? Because they're literally being embedded with so much cancers like bacteria that's literally trying to attach in their body. Now, it may take years, depends on the pH level of their body. So if they have a history of not being that uh, unhealthy, then it'll take a while for so it can form. That's why you say, oh, you, well, we don't know if it's cancer, but it could be, we don't know directly. I mean, we haven't seen, you know, we don't have to see uh, signs to, for it to be cancer because they know it grows inside of you for a while. It's a parasite that literally has to form before it can literally um be viewed on uh you know in there you know with that all that stuff today i don't know all the terminology i just know the in-depth of the body it's more more deeper than what you can understand your whole body is a system that's alive and everything utilizes each other as a catalyst in order to grow so if one thing shuts down the whole thing shuts down and meat is that deter that shuts down everything so it's really good that, you know, it's more reasons to not focus on, you know, consuming heavily dense products because it's already dead and it has cysts in it. If you ever drain some steak or some meat, gross. Oh, I mean, I love steak. That's why I get Wagyu beef. If I was to eat beef, I'll get that Wagyu beef where I know cyst is not injected into it. All I'm saying is you don't have to completely quit cold turkey. Just make sure if you do condone in that or eat meat right condoning eat meat just make sure it's healthy meat is meat that has no parasites in it. you gotta check your meat you gotta drain your meat and make sure it's no cystin if it is i recommend don't mess with that but there's a bunch of meat that's still good just don't mess with the meat that's not good that's all i'm basically telling you to tell you what to do i'm just trying to tell y'all better alternatives that will keep people healthy from getting dementia cancer all these diseases that is unnecessary that cannot thrive in a high ph body Steak can be very high nutritious for you and build, build muscle, but you got to make sure there's no parasites and there's no fungi in there as well. You see what I'm saying? So I I went six years without eating meat. Then I ate meat for like a couple months, you know what I'm saying? And then now I'm back on no meat because it's just better. I was condoning too much um, sugar and foods and now I have to go and train and then I fasted for five days. Now, y'all going to see what I'm about to do again. I ain't going to tell y'all. I'm going to tell you after I'm done. All right. So take heed to this right now. We got to start practicing like what we, we got to practice longevity. We can't put it off no more. I'm telling you, man, this shit is about to get weird. And if you're not doing or taking care of your body, then you're going to not be able to anchor onto the vibrations. Literally, is you're going to descend instead of ascend. Don't go backwards. Keep going forward, yo. We almost at the finish line. We basically there. We just got to make it over the finish line. Damn. Show some love to my cash at my PayPal. Show that you really care right now. Be selfless right now. Selflessness will help you. Remember, karma comes to those who are selfless and gratifying. If you if you are if, if you show gratitude, you are good. Take your mind off of lack and all this other other crap that is not needed. Just show gratitude. You gotta give because that is you telling the universe source, God, that you are grateful. That is why it's so important. That's why I will always give all of my change to homeless people. I'm about to go out and give money to homeless people right now, even though, you know what I'm saying, I don't focus on what I do and don't have, I still will give because why? Who else is gonna do it? You feel me? Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm about to wrap this up, man. Watch out for what you put in your body. I'm about to do the next video on the Mandela Effect and how it benefits you. I'm just going for this run real quick. And then I'm going to tell you guys Mandela Effect. It's way more different than what we could ever imagine. And it's way more prominent. It's literally affecting our life as we speak and been affecting our life for the last decade and prior to that. I only know of enough knowledge up to like past decade, but I'm sure it, it just dates back way further than that. Way further than that. It's so much stuff going on right now. Planet can either alter this way or alter that way based on the collective consciousness and what's being put it out and embedded. So things like via media affects the uh, collective consciousness, which calls this way. So instead of going that way, we end up going this way. But there are forces that are intervening to make sure planet, human, the the population don't descend downward. There are a bunch of forces right now. I'm telling you, those forces that intervene that cause things to not happen. Alternative, uh, basically alternate version that could have occurred especially right now that did not occur that's why i say don't give your power to anything that you do not want to create because you're literally giving that making that happen you're manifesting that you're manifesting something that you didn't intend to manifest that's the mandela effect it's way more problem i see why a lot of people ask a lot of information about this because ah smart very smart indeed because the mandela effect affects everybody and guess what Mo majority of people don't even realize so show some love my PayPal, my cash app. I really appreciate all the information down below. I'm about to put up some new TikToks today. I'm about to tell you the best kind of foods to be eating right now and why you should be eating it.